So Blazor WebAssembly progressive web app caching sometimes needs to be cleared out, refreshed, and reinstalled. It's just a quick walkthrough guide on how to do this. So let's say you have a progressive web app installed locally onto your computer. This is uh, one called Impact, which helps do Amazon reviews. And it's installed as a native you know, a native application in Windows 11 because it is a progressive web app. Now you have all this stuff here, you know, extensions, pin to start, all of that. I wish there was a way, you know, you could right click somewhere to just uninstall it from here. But what you want to do is hit the start menu, type in the name of the application, in this case, impact, and then just hit the uninstall button and it says are you sure you want to uninstall and then you can go back to the website and it should say to install again but before you do this part what you want to do is right click inspect go over to go to the application tab say including third-party cookies clear site data then hit the service workers and say unregister update on reload and then right click the refresh button empty cache and hard reload you can close this at that point that's like a nice little full refresh and then you're going to install and do whatever you would typically do if you want it on the desktop or you want it on pinned to the taskbar. This is in Windows 10, 11, and whatnot. Now in iOS, it's a little bit different. You have to go to Settings, Safari, Advanced, Website Data, and then find the name of the application. In this case, it'd be impact-app and then you would delete the website data inside there. There's an option to do that. Um, it, PWAs have come a long way. They try to be as helpful as possible for caching as much as possible. So they're to eliminate um, unnecessary trips to the server and have high um, responsiveness and instant click um, without having to go back to the server to get another piece of data. Thanks everyone.